best tennis comebacks of all time. Have you ever watched a tennis match that seemed like it was completely over, only for the underdog to mount a stunning comeback? It's one of the most exciting things to see in tennis when a player defies the odds and reverses the course of a match. In today's video, we'll take a look at some of the best tennis comebacks in history. These moments are guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. So, let's dive in. 1. Novak Djokovic vs Rafael Nadal 2012 Australian Open Let's start with one of the most memorable matches in tennis history. The 2012 Australian Open final between Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal was an epic battle that lasted almost six hours. It was one of the longest Grand Slam finals ever. Djokovic found himself down a break in the final set, but he never gave up. He kept fighting, both mentally and physically, and managed to turn the match around. In the end, Djokovic emerged victorious with a 5-7, 6-4, 6-2, 6-7, 5, 7-5 win. This match is often remembered for the incredible level of play from both athletes and their relentless pursuit of victory. 2. Goran Ivanjevi vs Patrick Rafter 2001 Wimbledon Fairy Tale. Goran Ivanjevi's story at the 2001 Wimbledon is like a fairy tale. He entered the tournament as a wildcard, ranked 125th, and wasn't expected to go far. But he defied all odds and made it to the final against two-time US Open champion Patrick Rafter. In a thrilling five-setter, Ivanjevi came out on top with a 6-3, 3-6, 6-3, 2-6, 9-7 victory. This win was special because it was Ivanjevi's first ever Grand Slam title, and it made him the only wildcard player to win the men's singles title at Wimbledon. His incredible comeback is a true inspiration for tennis fans everywhere. 3. Roger Federer vs Rafael Nadal 2017 Australian Open The 2017 Australian Open final was another classic showdown between Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. This match was particularly special because Federer was making a comeback after a six-month break due to a knee injury. In the final set, Federer found himself down a break. However, he showed his resilience and fought back, eventually winning the match 6-4, 3-6, 6-1, 3-6, 6-3. This victory was Federer's 18th Grand Slam title, proving that he was still one of the best players in the world even after his injury. 4. Alex de Minor vs Andy Murray, Beijing and Paris Alex de Minor had two amazing comebacks against Andy Murray, first in Beijing and then in Paris. In both matches, de Minor found himself trailing Murray 2-5 in the final set, but he never gave up. In Beijing, he saved two match points on serve at 2-5 in the final set and another at 5-6 in the tiebreak to earn a 6-3, 5-7, 7-6, 6, victory. Just four weeks later in Paris, he found himself down a match point on Murray's serve at 5-4 in the final set. Yet again, de Minor stepped up and won that game as part of a five-game run, securing the match 7-6, 5, 4-6, 7-5. His never-say-die attitude is what makes these comebacks so special. 5. Felix Augereliasim vs Tommy Paul, Indian Wells. Our next comeback story is about Felix Augereliasim's thrilling match against Tommy Paul in Indian Wells. Augereliasim saved six match points to advance to the quarterfinals in his sixth consecutive ATP Masters 1000 tournament. The match was intense, with Augereliasim trailing behind for most of the evening. He lost the first set and fell behind 0-3 in the third. However, he managed to claw his way back and level the deciding set at 3-3. Augereliasim faced triple match point twice, but he fought back and forced a tiebreak. Down three-sixths in the tiebreak, he went on a run of five straight points, which sealed his victory. Augereliasim's perseverance and composure under pressure were truly remarkable. 6. Ivan Lendl vs John McEnroe 1984 French Open Final Let's start with a classic showdown that had fans on the edge of their seats. 
It was the 1984 French Open final, and John McEnroe was in control, leading two sets to none. But Ivan Lendl wasn't going down without a fight. He stayed calm and composed, slowly chipping away at McEnroe's lead. Against all odds, Lendl fought back to win the next three sets and secure the victory. This match is remembered as a defining moment in Lendl's career and a testament to his incredible mental resilience. Can you imagine the pressure he must have felt? 7. Holger Rune vs. Botic van der Zandschalp, Munich Final 2022 Next up is a more recent match featuring young star Holger Rune. In the 2022 Munich Final, Rune faced off against Botic van der Zandschalp. It was an intense match with both players giving it their all. Rune faced four championship points against him, struggled with an arm injury, and even twisted his ankle. But he refused to give up. He fought his way back, breaking his opponent's serve and forcing a tiebreak. Rune's determination paid off, and he eventually won the title. It was a thrilling comeback that had fans cheering him on. How does he manage to stay so composed? 8. Marat Safin vs Roger Federer 2005 Australian Open Semi-Final Our top tennis comeback comes from the 2005 Australian Open Semi-Final. The matchup was between Marat Safin and Roger Federer, who was dominating tennis at the time. Federer took the lead early, and it seemed like he was on his way to another victory. But Safin had other plans. He saved match points in the fourth set and pushed the match to a fifth set tiebreak. In an intense battle, Safin outlasted Federer to win the match. It ended Federer's 26-match winning streak in Grand Slams and showcased Safin's resilience and tactical play. Can you believe how thrilling that must have been for Safin and his fans? That wraps up our countdown of the best tennis comebacks of all time. From intense finals to underdog victories, tennis never fails to deliver excitement and drama. Which of these comebacks surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tennis content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.